introducing Patricia Morrison, a true Hollywood legend. Whether through her impactful roles on the screen or the lasting impressions she left on admirers, Morrison's influence is undeniable. Reflecting on her extensive career, one might wonder which of her many works truly defined her. Share your thoughts on standout moments that encapsulate the essence of her contribution to the entertainment industry. Have you ever been inspired or deeply impacted by Patricia Morrison in a personal way? Your stories and memories are valuable, so feel free to share them in the comments below. Stay tuned as we unravel surprising, amusing, and poignant facts about this classic Hollywood actor. There's more to discover, so keep watching for a journey into her fascinating world. And now, what's your most treasured memory or personal experience related to this actor? Share your anecdotes and reflections in the comments below. Get ready for an exploration of Patricia Morrison's life and career where funny, shocking, and sad facts await. Your journey into the world of classic Hollywood begins now. Born in New York City, Patricia Morrison kicked off her entertainment journey amidst a culturally rich background. Raised in a family that nurtured her artistic side, Morrison's early experiences laid the groundwork for her future in Hollywood. With her family's unwavering support, her passion for the performing arts blossomed. Morrison's initial entry into acting was marked by significant events that paved the way for her successful career. Drawing inspiration from various sources, she refined her skills and left her mark on both stage and screen. In the early years, her commitment to acting became evident, and it was during this time that her unique talents began to shine. The cultural diversity of her birthplace, New York City, provided Morrison with a lively backdrop. This environment likely contributed to the depth and versatility she later brought to her roles. Facing the initial challenges of the entertainment industry, Morrison's resilience and determination became crucial to her eventual success. Looking back, one can recognize the profound influence of Morrison's upbringing on her career choices. Whether influenced by family support, the cultural richness of New York City, or the challenges she faced early on, each element played a crucial role in shaping the actress we would come to know and admire. Exploring Patricia Morrison's early life reveals that her journey in the entertainment industry was not just a series of events, but a story woven with passion, dedication, and a commitment to her craft. Stay tuned for more insights into the fascinating world of this Hollywood legend. In the 1960s and 1970s, Patricia Morrison showcased her versatility on stage, engaging in various stock and touring productions. She tackled both musical and dramatic plays like Milk and Honey, Kismet, The Merry Widow, Song of Norway, Do I Hear a Waltz, Bell, Book and Candle, The Four Poster, Separate Tables and Private Lives. Even in her 90s, Morrison retained her vocal prowess, performing in the same key as when she gained fame in Kiss Me, Kate. In the film Song Without End, director George Cukor faced a challenge with Morrison's voice. He found it too feminine for the character George Sand and chose to have it redubbed by another actress. Her enduring presence on stage and unwavering vocal abilities highlight a career spanning decades. Her commitment to her craft, evident from her early years, allowed her to leave a lasting impact on both the theater and film industries. Patricia Morrison's family history goes beyond Hollywood's glitz. Her mother, Selena Morrison, worked in British intelligence during World War I, adding an element of mystery to Morrison's background. This connection to espionage suggests a different side of her family's history, away from the glamour of show business. In 1948, Morrison faced a crucial moment in her career. Choosing to leave Hollywood for New York, she took on the lead role in the Cole Porter musical Kiss Me, Kate. This decision was risky, considering Porter's recent lack of successful shows. On the verge of departure, she turned down a marriage proposal from influential Hollywood mogul Louis B. Mayer, a decision that proved wise later on. Morrison's rejection of Mayer's proposal highlighted her dedication to her craft, prioritizing artistic pursuits over financial gain. This pivotal moment showcased her resilience and commitment to her chosen path, emphasizing a focus on substance rather than wealth. As one of the last survivors of Hollywood's golden age, Morrison passed away shortly before Kirk Douglas and Olivia de Havilland. Her life serves as a reminder of an era that has become cinematic history. The timing of her departure adds a poignant note to her story, marking the end of an era in Hollywood. In her later years, Morrison showcased her versatility on stage in various stock and touring productions. 
from musicals like Milk and Honey and Kismet to dramatic plays like Separate Tables, her enduring presence demonstrated a career spanning decades. Even in her 90s, Morrison's vocal abilities remained intact, performing in the same key as when she gained fame in Kiss Me, Kate. The challenges faced during the film Song Without End, where her voice was redubbed, highlighted the uniqueness of her vocal skills. In conclusion, Patricia Morrison's life and career reveal a woman who navigated the complexities of Hollywood with determination, resilience, and a commitment to her craft. Beyond the glitz and glamour, her story is one of artistic integrity and the pursuit of passion over wealth. Reflecting on her life, we glimpse a Hollywood icon who, through her journey, left a lasting impact on the entertainment landscape. In 1938, Patricia Morrison's journey in the entertainment world took an unexpected turn with her appearance in the short-lived musical The Two Bouquets. Lasting only 55 performances, the production featured Alfred Drake, foreshadowing their later collaboration in the successful Broadway hit Kiss Me, Kate. Besides acting, Morrison explored dance under Martha Graham's guidance. During this time, she balanced her artistic pursuits by working as a dress shop designer at Russex Department Store. A notable moment in Morrison's film career was her role as Empress Eugenie in The Song of Bernadette. Originally cast with Fortunio Bonanova and Mona Maris, the scenes were later refilmed with Jerome Cowan and Morrison, showcasing her adaptability in the face of casting changes. Morrison's versatility extended to the 1960s and 1970s, where she showcased her theatrical skills in various stock and touring productions. Engaging in both musical and dramatic plays like Milk and Honey, Kismet and Separate Tables, she maintained her vocal skills even in her 90s, performing in the same key as her famous role in Kiss Me, Kate. Her family history added intrigue with her mother, Selena Morrison, having worked in British intelligence during World War I. This connection to espionage hinted at a different facet of Morrison's background away from the glitz of show business. In a pivotal career moment in 1948, Morrison's decision to leave Hollywood for New York paid off when she took on the lead role in the Cole Porter musical Kiss Me, Kate. Rejecting a marriage proposal from influential Hollywood figure Louis B. Mayer, she prioritized artistic pursuits over financial gain, showcasing her commitment to her craft. As one of the last survivors of Hollywood's golden age, Morrison's departure shortly before Kirk Douglas and Olivia de Havilland marked the end of an era. Her life serves as a poignant reminder of a bygone cinematic era, highlighting a Hollywood icon who navigated the complexities of the industry with determination and commitment to her craft. In the mid-1960s, Patricia Morrison continued to shine on stage, leaving a lasting impression. Notably, she graced the Seattle Opera House in April 1965, followed by the New York City Center opening on May 12, 1965, in additional productions of Kiss Me, Kate. The role as Lily Vanessy, the diva cast as Kate in The Taming of the Shrew, showcased her mezzo-soprano voice's perfection, particularly in songs like Wonderbar and I Hate Men. Cole Porter, recognizing Morrison's projection prowess, personally auditioned her for a role in a large theater, convincing producers to cast her alongside Alfred Drake. This marked a significant chapter in her career, emphasizing her vocal excellence and suitability for the songs of the production. Reflecting on her early life, Morrison attended Washington Irving High School and later honed her skills at the Arts Students League. Her Broadway debut in 1933's Growing Pains marked the beginning of her journey in the world of acting. In 1948, she faced a pivotal career moment, choosing to leave Hollywood for New York and accepting the lead role in Cole Porter's Kiss Me, Kate. This decision showcased her dedication to her craft, refusing a marriage proposal from Hollywood mogul Louis B. Mayer, prioritizing artistic pursuits over financial gains. Her versatility extended into the 1960s and 1970s, where she showcased theatrical skills in various stock and touring productions. The consistent vocal abilities, even in her 90s, demonstrated a career that spanned decades. Her family history added a unique dimension, with her mother, Selena Morrison, having worked in British intelligence during World War I. This connection to espionage hinted at a different facet of her background away from the glamour of show business. In summary, Patricia Morrison's journey in the entertainment industry was marked by significant moments from her early days on Broadway to the challenges and triumphs later in her career. Her commitment to her craft, resilience in the face of pivotal decisions, and enduring talent on stage solidify her place as a Hollywood icon.